So I went into this church, and can you imagine a church big as, twice as big as this, with no more than about five or six people. And I go in the middle of the church to make a novena. And then a brother come up and touched me on the shoulder and told me I had to go up to the back of the church. And I'm looking at him. I say, what do you mean? There's nobody in here. What do you, he said, but you have to go to the back of the church because I'm an, Af I'm an Afro-American. So I, I looked at him and I said to him, I can't believe this. And that turned me off. And then from that point on, I began to look to find something that would satisfy my moral and spiritual being. Well, like I said, I was a social worker and, in, and involved in the institution and things like that. And there was a, I was in this uh, institution and I heard about this lady who used her lunch hour to say her prayers. And I'm wondering, what? What? Using a, you saying her prayers and, and not taking her lunch out because she didn't have any other time. And I, one day I saw on the bus and I got on the bus because we have to walk as about far as here to that tent to get to the institution. And I started talking to her. And then she told me, she gave me a, 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 literature, a, a bulletin and told me where the, the mosque was. So. And she said, come by there and talk to somebody there and they can help you. So Brother Aleem? And, and that's how it happened. So Brother Aleem, you then signed the Bayat in 1953, I believe? Yes, I did. My name was given Ahmed Halim, and that means praiseworthy and trusty. And I've been working in an institution with children, and what happened? I was praised for working with children, and I was praised because of the fact that they had to trust me. My name before I became a Muslim was Andrew Harrison Hall Bartholomew, which meant nothing, but it, it, it nothing. But then I got my name and I became Ahmed Halim, and it said praise words and trust it. This gives me something. When I get up in the morning, I say my name to myself. I say it several times because it enlightened me. I was in the street. I was a street person. And the guys I used to hang around with when I stopped drinking, stopped womanizing, and stopped cheating and running all over the place and, doing, and staying up half the night and just doing nothing. These guys didn't want to have nothing to do with me because this is what happened. But I was lucky so. and very fortunate because I had Ahmadi families who, had, like, who adopted me. They invited me to their homes for dinner. They, their children uh, began to talk with me because they got into sports and things like that. So I bounded with, with uh, my, my brothers who already were Ahmadi Muslim. And one of the hardest things is in this world, and you won't realize, is to have somebody to, that you can lean on.